was an opening statement and move on to questions. Um, yeah, you know, this is one of those games where I think you, I mean, you, you go in with, with high expectations and really want your team to play well. And so I think uh, for the first half, obviously starting off with a pick, that was a frustrating aspect. Um, and then I felt like some guys were pressing a little bit, but then found the rhythm. Uh, but offensively, I think we, we saw some a little bit of the firepower that I think we're capable of. Defensively, that's really what we've been looking for. And, it, and it's really what uh, I had hoped would take place. And so um, I don't know. I know they, they had a penalty on the one play. They got past the 50, but I don't know they got past the 50. Uh, and that's really what we wanted to establish. We, we wanted to establish our defense, play multiple people, do different things, and really just be able to attack them. And then, um, you know, I just told our guys, look, we, we got things we got to get better at. We're just going to continue to play. And, um, you know, didn't try to do anything outrageous, but at the same time just felt like we needed to continue to execute things. And, um, you know, we score late. Um, you know, we block a punt on – it was a holdup. And so we weren't trying to block the punt at that point in time. But then that kind of kick-started a little more momentum for us. And here we are, 69 to nothing. So excited for that for our guys. And – uh, I think they, they worked hard this week to play that type of game. Anthony Johnson Jr., can you talk about him? It seems like you're going to get him going. And is this what you've been waiting for? for him? It is, and it's what, it's what we hoped. I mean, it, it really was. And, um, you know, we're, we got him going in the second half last week, and I thought um, he came out and really established himself early. Uh, I don't know what his final totals were, but I know at halftime he was – uh, clicking somewhere in the mid 70s on um, you know uh, 10 carries or so so that's what we wanted and um, I feel like when he's fresh and he's ready to go uh, he can be a dynamic running back and we've seen that the last two weeks so uh, that's very exciting for us. Coach you know Quinn ran off and scored something but he made some big catches to set you guys up in a good spot what have you seen out of him this year that's really changed from his breakout? His, his consistency is just much higher than it's ever been and I think he was a guy that, you know, on a week, maybe off two, on a week, uh, you know. And I think week in and week out here in the first three weeks, he's, he's playing good football. And I think he and Austin have a, a good connection. And I think they're, uh, you know, they're feeding off each other a little bit. Pete, when you um, go into a game like this one where you, you feel like they've got better personnel, what do you look for? What did you feel like you did well um, that you take away from this and say, hey, we – you know, we did this, this, and this, and we played as well as I wanted it to. Yeah, and, and really, we, we have a saying, it's, it's how we play, not who we play. And so, I mean, we really harp on that, that, look, if we don't make mistakes, um, you know, there's always going to be good plays on both sides of the ball. But if we don't make mistakes, we feel like we can play with anybody in the country. And so, um, we obviously had an advantage uh, tonight, uh, and we knew that. So, what we were looking for is that type of execution. You know, I think they... I know they had three first downs at halftime. I don't know what they had, but we, we, we wanted to really just go in with a shutout mentality uh, on defense and just swarm and get after it as much as we possibly could uh, while we were getting better. And I think, you know, they've got some good guys that can run around. And obviously when we didn't tackle them, they made some plays there. And, um, you know, they broke the long one and we got the penalty. So we, we were fortunate in that. Um, and so you're really just looking for execution and you're looking for your team to play at the level that you think they're capable of. Um, and I felt like offensively in the second half, we kind of, you know, went up and down a little bit. Um, but I think we, you know, we, we continued to move and our defense continued to put us in position uh, to be where we were. How tough is it to stay focused on, on execution rather than results when the results are almost going to be their athletics? Yeah, that's that's the challenge. I mean, and you, you hit on it, and I think that's kind of where we, we wandered a little bit offensively in the second half. I think uh, defensively our guys, they're like, hey, we don't want to give up a first down. You know, we, we want to do this. And I think we, we just you know found out I think it's minus 12 yards in the game. So, I mean, they just wanted to continue to do that. Offensively, I think you go, oh, it's there. Can I take it? You know, oh, you know. Uh, and, you know, we told him, I said, look, man, we, we got to be happy with a three-yard gain. You know, we, we just keep the chains moving. Let's let's do what we're doing here. And th that's where I think we got caught a little bit. So I, it, it was it was harder tonight than I would have liked it to be. What about Austin, uh, a game overall? A little bit of a slow start, it looked like maybe the rhythm thing, but, but uh, from an efficiency standpoint, how do you feel? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think when he's on, and that's, that's our challenge to him, he's got to be focused and dialed in all the time. When he's on, I think good things are going to take place. 
And uh, I think it's a really, <laughs> really good learning lesson for him uh, as to what he needs to do and how he needs to approach this thing, uh, play in and play out. And I mean, that's that's got to be his mentality. How important was it for Austin Williams to make that field goal tonight and kind of get off the schneid? Well, yeah, he did, and then he missed. I mean, I, I thought we were back. You, you know what I mean? And we ended up, um, you know, ended up. Uh, going with Alex there uh, at the end. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I thought when he made it, we were good. He missed the next one. Um, and, I mean, I, I feel like he's in a place where we got to continue to work with it and continue to, uh, you know, find it. Um, I felt coming out of, and I think a lot of you guys were there, I felt coming out of our first scrimmage, he was right where we'd hope. Um, and we've, we, we, we've gone uh, in a place that's not comfortable right now. So we, we got to continue to get better as a team, and he's got to he's got to find that rhythm. Gave him an opportunity to kick off a little bit uh, because Colton was kicking the ball deep, but the placement wasn't exactly where we'd like it. Um, but I think you saw. I mean, I don't know how many times we kicked off. Uh, I know a lot, but I think you saw. You know, the speed that we have covering those things. So we got a lot of work at that. Your defense really, you know. To get a shout out, they're not easy to get in college football, but you know, no matter who you play, but to be able to get one tonight, how big a step was that for you? It's fans? huge. And I mean, I don't care who you play, it's hard. Yeah. And, um, you know, to do that down after down, play after play, and then again, to just limit them and keep them off the field. Um, was what probably I mean keep them off the you know the fifty yard line. I mean, in a lot of three and outs, and really never really going anywhere. That was huge, uh, and I mean, just so happy for them, uh, and so you know you know just really pleased with how they played. That six quarters is great. It is. It is. Yeah. So I mean, we're building on that. Yeah. So I mean, again, I feel like I feel like we saw what we needed to see. They started to gel. Uh, and I think we just I, I think we're gonna turn that turn that film on and see a lot of really, really good plays. You had um, several local you you mentioned you talked about Johnson and and also Quentin Randolph, but Evan Mitchell and Fort Walton, yeah, Jaden Gardner got a few plays in there. What yeah. Just, just speak a little bit about the local guys that, that really factored into this game tonight, and that that's something that I know you you love to do at home. Well, most definitely, and I you know I think you you know uh, obviously Devin Gibson anchors the entire thing, uh, you know offensive line wise, the which a group that I thought played very well. But uh, you know we we've been trying, and we continue to you know try to find the right guys to fit our program and do that. And, and you mentioned them. I mean, I thought Evan had a great night. Uh, you know, that, that touchdown catch was spectacular um, there because that ball was high and he had to go up and, you know, uh, he's made a lot of those catches and uh, he got the second touchdown on the one, you know, you're, he's wide open. You just, you just hope we get the ball there on that one. So, uh, and then Jaden took, took the touchdown, bounced it outside. Uh, that was huge. So, um, you know, we're, I, I, again, we're always looking for the right guy to, you know, from the area uh, to be a part of our program. So. Uh, when they have success, I think it just, you know, makes it uh, better for us of what we're trying to do. And I think, you know, it's fun for the home crowd, too. And, I mean, we had, um, you know, I don't know what the numbers were, but it, it looked good. I mean, it was a good good looking crowd, and uh, they supported us well. How did it feel being at home? Oh, it was great to be at home. We, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. You, you go back, you know, to last year we ended at West Alabama, and, you know, then we're three. There were two games on the road uh, to start this year. So very good to be back in Blue Wahoo Stadium and play in front of our home crowd. And really, again, do what do what I'd hoped we'd do. I mean, really wanted to play a great game and really wanted to get a lot of things done. You've got experience with you know younger programs, smaller budgets. What are some of the challenges? You know, or like the few well faces, or particularly traveling. You know, long yeah, I think it's hard. It, 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 they, they they got a tough deal. They really do. And um, you know, they're one of the. Uh, you, you know, there, there's a handful of college programs out there where the football program is probably uh, the majority of the uh, student body. And so, um, you know, they've, they've, you know, fight and scratch to get a home game when they can, but a lot of their games are on the road. And, uh, you know, it's, it, 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 it's a tough, uh, tough battle for them. And, it, you know, uh, they've been on the road, I think, three weeks in a row now. So, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm here thankful to be at home for three weeks, and they're probably going on the road again. So it's hard. It really is. You start the golf soft conference, like Paul mentioned, you know, next week really starts the, you know, the stretch where you've got to 
you got if you want to you know play in the postseason, it's, it begins kind of. We'll just talk a little bit about what what's ahead. Well, we you know we we've got two at home, and we're we're thankful for that. Mississippi College and Delta State. Um, you know we need to we need to we're one and zero in conference, beating shorter. Uh, you know, if we want to be the team that we're capable of, we've got to take care of business at home. Uh, and I think the schedule, you know, in looking at it, sets up really well. We can go out and play great for two more weeks, then we get a bye week, uh, and then we go through probably the meat uh, of, the, of the conference there. But, you know, Mississippi College has been gotten better every year. And, you know, last year was the first time we beat Delta State. So, uh, you know, I look at both of those and go, we, we've got our work, you know, we, we've got our work cut out for us. So we, we got to continue to push this thing. Uh, to the level that we think we're capable of. And, uh, you know, I got a team that, you know, is receptive. We talked after the game and, you know, uh, I mean, we think we can get better and uh, we're looking forward to uh, getting after it this week. All right. Thank you.